we found more pictograms. Look up here. Oh, wow. Look, Ash, this is definitely a pictogram. Look at this. Look, there's a square here and a double diamond here. And the pictograms just beside where the black is. Yeah, I can see those, mate. They, they, those look old as well. They look fantastic. I'm going to photograph all these red pictograms close up so we can run them through D-Stretch and ask AI to try and interpret them later. It's a very steep drop there, mate. Oh, I'm... Did you say you found bone? It looks either like a piece of quartz or a tooth. I think that's a tooth. I think it's a tooth as well. I mean, this is raw Andy in archaeology. Look at that. Jay and I are back at the Ten Hole Monoliths, overlooking the Valley of the Gods that's been inhabited since 10,400 BC. We've found more pictograms. We can't quite be sure what's Ice Age or Younger Dryas, comparing them with the ones that were done by the Moiskas between 800 and 1537 AD, but we're logging them all. And already Jay's found what appears to be a tooth and a bone underneath a rock shelter just above the Younger Dryas lagoon line. It's looking to be a good day. Do you want me to go first again, I suppose? Yeah, please, if you could, Jay, because I've got the tripod and the camera. Yeah, just because you're filming. I know it is, mate. Don't worry about that. <laughs> be very careful coming down here, mate. I'll be coming down once I see you at the bottom. Oh! All right, okay, let's see. Oh, yeah. I do need you to take the tripod, Jay. I need both hands on this, or at least one hand. Last minute tripod, Max. Thank you. Right. I'm doing here if you're coming down, mate. No, I'm fine. I've got the tree. I can catch you. That was a close shave. It's a very steep drop there, mate. Right, okay, the last bit. Look at the size of this monolith. There's a hole, Jay, look. Yeah. That's very much like an eye. In 2019, an archaeologist told us that the indigenous culture sometimes bored out holes in these enormous stones, put in gold figurines, then packed them up with clay, and that modern treasure hunters come along with metal detectors, get the beep, and then dig out the clays. I wonder if this is one. Look, there we go. Look, Ash, this is definitely a pictogram. In fact, there's various of them. Look at this. Two parallel lines with downward pointing chevrons like a ladder. And this is like the zigzag that we found at Elabra. Yeah. This is right in the lagoon edge. Yeah. Right on it. Yeah. What we're looking at here could be, what, 12,000 years old? Easily, man. 12,500 years old, according to the 1960s researchers. You can see these red pictograms. Look. Here. Wow. More red pictograms. Look at these. See it? This is awesome. Look at that. Look at them. Um, can they come round here into the gap? And then on this face as well. Right here. We've got to zoom all the way down. These are another level. Look how clear they are. Look how linear they all are. Look at this. Let's get the magnifying glass on them. We're going to get in close to them so as we can see the detail in the flaking and such. Oh, look at that. You can see that the detail on this has been worn away by hundreds, if not thousands of years of weathering. Yeah, the edges are really fuzzy. 
I think that's the distinguishing point between ancient and more modern. The fuzziness, the detail. History fuzz. History fuzz, there you go, man. <laughs> I mean, this is real raw Andean archaeology. Look at that. Is this like a human body? See the form with the arms, possibly? Possibly. It, did. it kind of looks like a stick man, doesn't it? But a very childish interpretation of a stick man. Do you want to get under the rock and have a look and see if you can find any more pictograms, Ash? For sure. I'll tell you what, before I come up here, Jay, this is blackened. Well, that, that suggests human occupation. Yeah, Jay, there's more smaller ones, but look, there's a square here and a double diamond here. More? Can you see them underneath? Come under here with me. Can you come under with the camera? Okay. Look up here. Oh, wow. Diamond, diamond with double lines and a small square with a line. Yeah, I can see those, mate. They, they, those look old as well. They look fantastic. A lot smaller than the ones in the front base. Smaller, but I think because they're underneath this ledge, they're, they're kind of been less weathered. What do you think? Yeah, and look, here's the blackening of a fire and the pictograms just beside where the black is, so there could have been more under here. Well, if there's blackening and tar... You know, that suggests human occupation. Like this is a rock shelter. Yeah, I'd agree with you there, mate. 100%. Right. I'm going to photograph all these red pictograms close up so we can run them through D-Stretch and ask AI to try and interpret them later. That's a great idea, Ash. really refreshing to see that they haven't been vandalized i'm just down here looking to see if there's any residual tools or ceramic or anything that may be visible on the surface beneath this rock shelter bones even even bones man yeah oh look there's a hole under here A lot of iron ore in the rock here, Jay, a nice orange colour. Well, that's where they get the ochre from, isn't it, Nash? Yeah, a patch of iron oxide in amongst the ore. That's bone. What? That's bone. Bone? Hold on till I get in the camera. Did you say you found bone? Uh, I think it's bone, actually. I've got two things here that I found. One of these, I mean, it's not rock. It looks either like a piece of quartz or a tooth. I think that's a tooth. I think it's a tooth as well. It is a tooth. It's not a rock. Yeah, and, and would you say that this is the root? Possibly. Look at the shine on it like the enamel. Yeah, look at the way it's rounded as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. you can almost see the pulp yeah. on the inside, how it's on hard. It's a piece of tooth. Wow, is it isolated or is there anything else on I, I also found this, Ashley, which to me looks very much like a piece of bone as well. Can you see that? Oh, I can. It's, it's not a rock and it's very, very lightweight. And it's matte like a bone. Yeah. Look at it. Yeah. Yeah, and it's got the holes like the osteo holes. Yeah. Well done, Jay. That's a tooth, man. A tooth and a bone, so let's get these in a little baggie and we'll get them tested. Let's get them saved and get them back to the lab. You can see the change in colour, it's the sand and big rocks under there. Look, what's this? Piece of chalk. 
Oh, yeah. It's funny because there's no chalk here. Well, there was that bit. That bit? Right, come on in, let's get up. Oof. Oh. Right, careful, Ash, because this is a bit slippery coming up here, man. Where are you? Just up here, man. Don't you left. Oh, yeah. That's like another rock shelter. Back at HQ, I consulted an AI research tool to interpret the ancient red ochre pictograms and to uncover what they might reveal about the rock shelter and the human remains discovered inside. Painted with deliberate precision, the first pictogram depicts a stylized cross, likely used to orient sacred space, marking cardinal directions or a point of spiritual convergence. Nearby, serpentine lines ripple across the stone, echoing rivers, energy flows or the sacred Andean mountains known as Opus guardians of the living and the dead. A third motif combines a circular ring with stacked eye or flame-like forms, suggesting a portal, transformation or ascent, hallmarks of shamanic vision and ritual passage. Within this symbolic landscape, we uncovered a tooth and fragments of bone, haunting evidence of ancient rites once performed in this sacred space. We have found hardcore archaeology lost in the Andean highlands of Colombia. We discovered this. Look at the archaeology. It's just incredible. Oh, it's dangerous. Oh, oh. What you guys may have discovered may rewrite so many things. Look at this. Oh, look at the artwork. 